my people my people my people thank you very much for turning into my channel my name is marie terence Don. thank you very much we started this series called bread of life inside it we have this prayer that has been going on today is the 26th day the prayer was to go on for 30 days to pray one hour every day in the holy ghost and you see a change in your life so join us and be part of this prayer today is the 26th day but if you are we are led by the lord you might continue it to the end of the year so today is the 26th day the plan was to go for 20 30 days but it seems god is talking so we're going to go for the end of the year hopefully by by on the by the end of the month we are going to know. So just keep on praying with us. One hour every day in the Holy Ghost. And you see a change in your life. Join us and pray with us. Thank you.
Father God, I pray. Go to those places my husband have applied for court. They will not have rest. My husband will have an offer later. Offer later in Jesus' name. Before morning, they will have an offer later. Sin de burden, 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 sin de
Thank you very much for turning into this channel. If you have reached up to this extent, do not forget to subscribe and put on the notification button. For now, we'll be coming daily to the end of the year. That will be daily one hour prayer every day to pray in the Holy Ghost. Even if you don't know how to pray in the Holy Ghost, just begin to pray. Just begin to pray in whatever way that you can pray. Be one hour a day and begin to ask God to bless you with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because if we begin to pray with the gift of the Holy Ghost, the Bible says those are tongues, those are language that devil does not understand. So we are fighting principalities and power in wicked places. So we need to take the enemy by surprise. We need to um, radical people. We don't have to do radical things to have radical results. So we have to be radical in order to have radical results. You cannot undermine the devil. So hold on it, hold on it. I remember this testimony I heard about um, Charles Funi, who went and prayed in the Holy Ghost like for seven hours and came to his street and said, God bless me. And God began to send people his way, people that will be coming and say, um, Pastor, please pray for me. I want to repent. Pastor, Pastor, Pastor. I heard about Kenneth Hagen also, that he prayed in the Holy Ghost from 2 a.m. to morning. He had a sermon on that day. He testified at that time. His preaching the next day was never bef like before. before, Because the Holy Ghost takes control. I don't know if you want to see amazing things in your life. You need to begin speaking another language. You need to ask God to bless you. If you are not speaking in the Holy Ghost. If you are speaking in the Holy Ghost, you have the tongues. At least one hour a day, one hour a day. You have to create. On, we, we don't know what we are praying, but we are praying. We are moving things in the atmosphere. We are breaking chains. Principalities and darkness. Things are happening. So open your mouth this night, this morning, this afternoon. Wherever you day, wherever you are, at, wherever you are on this planet, be in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, wherever you are, just call upon his name. God is available to do it. 